Neil Before Blog presents Neil Before Pod. Hello and welcome to Neil Before Pod interviews. I'm your host Craig, and I recently had the pleasure of talking to Chandler Riggs, the voice of Superman in the latest DC animated movie Justice League X Ruby Superheroes and Huntsmen Part One. The conversation covers owning the character, breaking into voice acting, and playing an adult in a teenager's body. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hi Chandler, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing good, yeah. I must say it is an honour to be in the presence of Superman himself. It is a true honour. Oh, dude, thank you. It's an incredible honour to be able to be called that in the first place, so thank you. It must be a real change to be in this more wholesome setup compared to something like The Walking Dead. Totally is, yeah. It was nice having air conditioning and working in a booth versus outside in the woods with bugs and everything. It was a very different change of pace. As a quick aside, what was it like being such a young actor on such an adult-oriented show? It must have been quite jarring for you. Yeah, it was so cool just growing up on a show like that with an amazing cast and an amazing crew. And I was very lucky to have been on a show like that for so many years so this project then how did you come to be involved in it how did you get to be superman well rooster teeth actually reached out to me about this role and the crazy thing is i i had been a fan of rooster teeth for a very long time i had seen every season of red versus blue i have it all in dvd and i was just a long time watcher of their youtube channel and everything so a chance to work with them was So, so cool. And without a doubt, playing Superman, that was like the craziest email that I've ever got. I remember talking and negotiating and figuring all this out. It felt so surreal just throwing around names like Superman and Wonder Woman and Batman. Like, it was nothing. It was the most surreal thing ever. It was really cool. This is quite a unique approach to being Superman as well, because he's an adult trapped in the body of a teenager. How did that inform your portrayal of him? That was kind of the hard part of cracking this character because he is the adult Superman that we all know. That's a very iconic character that everybody is already familiar with. So I had to kind of reverse engineer that and bring that weight to this character. But at the same time, he's awkward and has these hormones and is a little bit different, but it needs to have that same familiarity that everybody knows. So it was a tough character to figure out but I haven't seen it yet, so I hope I did a decent job. <laughs> well, as someone who has seen it, I would say you did a very good job, so no worries there. Thank you, thank you. I'm guessing the confusion associated with why am I here, what's going on, what's the setup that I'm now in, must help with adapting to I'm an adult in a kid's body. There was all that confusion around what's going on here. Yeah, they did a great job with the writing and really nailing down what these characters would do if realistically thrown into these situations. They did a great job of bringing that side of it to life and making my job a lot easier. It was very, very useful having the writing really inform where this character is at, what he's going through, what's happening to him. And how well versed are you in both properties? You said you've seen all of the Rooster Teeth stuff, so I imagine you're quite well versed in Ruby, but in terms of DC as well, how deep in to the lore are you with that i was a big fan of rooster teeth but when they started releasing ruby was when i was kind of not watching not for any particular choice but i hadn't seen any of their ruby stuff so i had to go back and watch a bunch of ruby and get a little caught up and get familiar with these characters because they're so iconic it's crazy how big the fan base is for this it was just so cool for dc luckily there wasn't a ton to catch up on superman and the rest of the justice league because it's the same characters that everyone knows and loves so I didn't have to dive too deep to figure out a lot about this character because I already just knew a lot about the character. But it was really just a cool opportunity to get to be a part of something that's marrying these two worlds together. As an anime fan, it's so, so cool to get to be a part of that community. And as a DC fan, getting to be a part of the DC community, it's so crazy and so cool. From my point of view, I wasn't aware of Ruby at all, really. But I was well versed in the DC side of things, so I was following essentially Superman's perspective as I was watching the film, wondering what on earth was going on. Yeah, that again, to credit the writing, they really did a great job of just painting this insane force through Superman's eyes. It was really, really cool. Did you base your version of Superman on any of the previous portrayals in particular? Was there any nods that you purposely put into your performance to some of the more iconic ones? Not particularly. I tried to hone in on the adult 
Superman and what makes him pick, whether it's live action or animated or anything else. It's a pretty consistent character across the board, I discovered. So I didn't have to sit down and watch a whole bunch of episodes or movies or anything that I hadn't already seen that informed anything else about the character that I didn't already know. So I was really able to just jump after the adult Superman and then add on this layer of, of adolescence. And it was really cool. It was fun. I suppose he's a bit of a paradox, isn't he? In that he's very complicated, but also very simple at the same time. He has that dichotomy of, he's not as simple as he seems, but he is pretty straightforward, if that makes sense. Absolutely, yeah. It was not easy, a challenge for sure, to really nail down this character, but just so fun. I had never really done a lot of voice acting stuff before, so it was really just a fun experience. Is it something you want to do more of now that you've had a taste? Absolutely. I've been wanting to break into the anime world for the last few years actually and having this be my first entry into it is just mind-blowing it is so 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 cool i'm very very lucky yeah i'd love to do more things like this in the future and fingers crossed your first ever voice role is superman how many people can say that <laughs> i know yeah it's gonna be hard to top that's for sure <laughs> is there any characters that you would definitely love to voice is there some that you've particularly got your eye on to give a go at i'm a huge gamer i'm super into video games so i'm really hoping one day i can voice some sort of character in some video game i just love to do the motion capture and everything such a fascinating process that i'm hoping it can eventually be a part of but for now anime and playing superman that's pretty cool i'll take it well, thanks very much for your time, Chandler. It's been great chatting to you and all the best with getting into voice acting and being all the people you want to be. Thank you so much. It's great talking to you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. That was my interview with Chandler Rinks. I wish him all the best for his future projects. If you like what you heard, then hit subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you get your podcasts. We'd love it if you would leave a five-star rating and a review. If you want to discuss this interview, DC in general, or anything else, then you can contact us on Twitter or Facebook under Neil Before Blog or leave a comment on neilbeforeblog.co.uk. For more interviews, a monthly news podcast, and deep dive analytical discussions about your favourite nerdy things, join us on Neil Before Pod.